this is the only time that you will be surrounded with a social work mindset. You might even miss it once you're done. I did not get a bachelor's in social work, which I often get asked. I actually have my bachelor's in psychology and got my master's in social work. And I do have a few tips up my sleeve that I want to share today. Let's get into my tips for surviving graduate school. Get really great with time management. Now this is much easier said than done. I completely understand. So I wanna give you my guidelines to managing your time in grad school. Number one is for every hour in class, you have to complete at least three hours out of class. Let's say I had a three hour class. That means that I'm in school Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That's my three hours of class instruction time. Now I'm gonna put in three hours of time outside of the classroom. So that first hour is gonna be for reading. You should have your syllabus and you should be reading what the syllabus is guiding you towards. The second hour would be the assignments for any written information you wanna do. Taking notes, starting on the assignments that are on the syllabus, and the third hour would be the study time that's reviewing any material that you didn't quite understand, getting into those office hours, asking some questions, or even writing down questions so that you can ask them in class the next time you all meet. If you're caught up with assignments, then that assignment hour that you have blocked out, all of a sudden, hey, you have some free time to enjoy yourself. That segues into my second tip. If you're at a good program, you're asked to start creating those self-care plans. This is your time to really find out what works for you as far as self-care. I didn't grasp the concept of self-care until probably my fifth year as a professional social worker. Back in my day, it really wasn't a trending topic. Nowadays, you can go up on Pinterest and find so many strategies. Look at the wheel of self-care. I made a video way back when a little embarrassed of it actually it's not the best quality I want to recreate that video because honestly I got some new tips and strategies for self-care but it is a good message of a wheel of self-care and how to hit every part of that wheel find a partner find a social work study partner a social work buddy someone you need those kind of people in your life in order to bounce ideas off of if you're an introvert pretty much means you're not speaking up in class, you're more taking everything in and observing. That's okay, but you do need to be able to talk out what you're listening to, what you're being lectured on. So going into the field of social work and studying in the MSW program is a lot of internal and emotional work. So be aware that you're gonna have these ups and downs. To no surprise, this is exactly how the field of social work works as well. There are some clients that you're gonna be soaring with, there's gonna be some clients that are gonna bring you down into really questioning what you're doing in this profession. It's okay, it happens. Learn who to go to, learn who your marigolds are. If you haven't watched that video already, it is new, is finding the people that are gonna energize you and get you into your positive, flow rather than bringing you down and really becoming toxic. Social workers typically have a passion within them. They have a calling. They are a little different from everyone else. If you haven't realized, we see the world from a different lens. Oftentimes people like to crush that lens. Don't let it happen to you. Be sure that you are surrounding yourself and finding the people around you that are gonna be positive supporters of your career choice. No better place to practice that than in graduate school. There won't be another time that you'll have this type of environment to study in, to read in, to work in. So really take advantage of that time and ask questions. You're not expected to know it all. Ask, ask, ask. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found some sort of help from it. If you did, please like and comment below. Till next time, I'm wishing you social work success. Bye-bye. Baby's here. Oh, gosh, it's been quite a while of self-care because I didn't know I'm not throwing gang signs three hours out of class let that sink in for a little while because